Today on Gear Zombie, we are going to check out the Amoon Pop Rock. Is that what it's called? Pock Pock Rock. Wait, Pop Pock Rock? The Amoon Pop Rock. No. The Amoon Pock Rock. That's terrible. Pock Rock? It's like Pock Mark. Like nobody wants a Pock Mark. They should have gone with Cock Rock. I bet you this thing is going to be so badass that you're going to want to call it Cock Rock by the time it's done. <laughs> So the tone I was using for that song, not good. Terrible tone. But out of the distorted tones, that was probably the best one I could come up with, so. You can shut the cab sim off. So you can actually, honestly. Might almost sound better with the cap sim off. But you could run this through and put your own IRs on it if you really wanted to. I mean, afterwards, you can't like load this turd with IRs. <laughs> So we got our clean tone. Get that tube breakup. Now you do have uh, an array of effects here that you can use. So let's see, we could throw some delay. Or we can roll over to echo, echo. Still kind of delayish there. Okay. Um, what else we have? Oh, we have room. That does have kind of a slappy room sort of. Hall. 
chorus. Oh, that's sexy. Now I'm back in. I was kind of falling out with the delays. They weren't really, but that chorus. Heavier chorus. That sort of reminds me of the first amp I had that did stuff when I was a little kid was the Crate G40C. I think it had two eight inch speakers in it uh, and it had a stereo chorus and you used to just crank that. And it had uh, old school on -verb re or, uh, onboard reverb tanks too. It was solid state madness. But that's what that reminds me of. Then we got some flange. Or my. There we go. I think I was still in chorus mode. Or. Have I rolled over to phaser? Yeah. So this is chorus. Flange, okay. All kinds of flange. So now we're to phaser. Set phasers on stun. Well, then you got a trem. Cool. Who doesn't love trem? I freaking love trems. Let's shut the effects off. And let's get back into the meat of this. So this, what do we got? So that is the clean, and this is overdrive, I assume. That's what the OD is. Oh, we also have a gain knob up here too, so if you want to take it to 11. <laughs> that's, your over, that's your overdrive. Magic tone that I recorded with. That's that's what the gain cranked. By the way, recording that little ditty and trying to make it sound good was relatively difficult. Uh, cause you can hear. Feel like you have to like pull every note out of the thing. This I assume is crunch. recording for my next demo. Uh, well, that's crunch. Ooh, fuzz. when I play with fuzzes, I feel like I should get a slide. Uh, MT? I don't know what that is. That's 
weird. It's like I'm, I have to look and see what that is. I don't know what that MT means. <laughs> But I love the little s the spank. Okay, now let's get into what you really want to hear. Let's get into the good stuff. Uh... Go back to the good tone. There's pre-built patches I didn't even realize. You know how everybody buys their Axe Effectses and their Helixes and uh, they all go to the stock patches and they're like, oh my god, these are so disgusting, this sounds horrible. I... Public apology to Cliff. Um, <laughs> I will never make fun of your stock patches again. But... Oh yeah. I mean, I don't know of a fractal unit that has anything on B2. Fortunately, you don't have to hear me fuck that song up. Okay, enough of this. When I bought this thing, it was the cheapest guitar processor on Amazon at $34.99. Now I can see with all the badassery that this has gone up in price. They can now be had for the low, low price of $39.99. Okay, so look, who is this for? Does this sound good? Not particularly. I mean, it's all right. It's 40 bucks and it makes sounds that can go into your ear holes. And hey, sometimes that's all you need. I have found that like the little Vox plugins um, that you can hook your headphones up to, those sound pretty decent, um, but they don't have the plethora of effects that this has, uh, if you want to go with that. Now this could be a fun thing like, I don't know, I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know, I'm getting ready to go on a vacation. I could take a guitar with me and bring this thing and I could play. But honestly, this is gonna kind of suck the life out of me wanting to play. In all seriousness, I'd be better off to take my laptop and an interface and then just, you know, play with VSTs. Who would like this? Honestly, my 14 year old kid would probably have a ball with it. You know, he's just been starting to play. So having something like this, that he could just sit and noodle with and turn the dials and play with the effects. He would probably really have a good time with that. I would be willing to bet that used, you could probably find a kidney bean pod, old kidney bean pod pretty cheap, which would sound a lot better than this. I'm not gonna recommend this, but I'm not gonna not recommend this. Um, if you saw my cheapest guitar amplifier on Amazon video, uh, that thing was a complete pile of shit. Because I think what I need to do is pair the cheapest amplifier on Amazon with the cheapest guitar processor on Amazon, which means I'm gonna have to find the cheapest guitar on Amazon. Well, hey, do me a favor. If you liked anything I had going on, hit like, hit subscribe. If you really don't like me, hit the thumbs down button two times. That tells the YouTube algorithm you really don't like me. And hey, I've got links for everything down in the description, so check it out. If you click on my affiliate links, it helps the channel. Until next time, Gear Zombie.